Hello everybody, welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to be discussing The Office. Now, I do have the entire series on DVD, but what do I consider to be the best episodes? Well, we're going to get into that with number 10, Murder. Now, I think Murder is a pretty underrated episode. I think it is the high point of season 6, the... Excuse me, the only episode from said season to actually make the list. And I just think that it's a fun episode. It's underrated. It's one of those silly episodes that doesn't really impact the plot. But, so you could say it's a filler episode. But I honestly think it's really fun. And features what might be my favorite Creed moment in the entire show. Where Michael Scott looks directly at him and says, Sir, there has been a murder and you are a suspect. That's one of my favorite, favorite moments of the entire show. Not going to say the rest of that joke because I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it. But that's one of my favorite jokes of the entire series. Okay, number nine is Goodbye Toby. I really do like this episode. This is a, this is a good episode. Uh... I believe it was originally intended to write Toby out of the series. But it was a fun episode. And it's kind of funny how this episode and Goodbye Michael are actually kind of the opposite to the characters they represent. This is the kind of the kind of final day at Dunder Mifflin you would expect Michael Scott to have. Whereas Michael Scott's is what you would expect Toby to have. Just kind of interesting. Number eight, The Client. So, The Client is on the list for a few different reasons. Number one, it introduces one of the best recurring jokes in the entire series, Threat Level Midnight, Michael Scott's movie. And it's a fun plot line, but ultimately this is just an episode where Steve Carell really just is like, no, let me just be as silly as I can be. And here's the thing is part of the reason this episode is so good is all of the humor with Steve Carell actually works. In the episode, Carell actually does manage to secure the deal that he's going to make with Jan. So that actually makes it to where all of the jokes, while it's fun for the audience, is actually being productive for the characters as well, which actually makes it a pretty interesting episode. Number seven, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a controversial one because it's often dubbed the best episode, and that's Stress Relief. So, Stress Relief was the big episode after the Super Bowl. It's a fun episode. Uh, really good. The roast of Michael Scott is one of the funniest sequences in the show's history, and it's just a fun episode. Of course... Obviously kicking off with maybe the show's best cold open with Dwight's fire drill. Uh, but speaking of Dwight, number six is the finale. The only post-Steve Carell episode to make the list and, well, it features Steve Carell. It's kind of funny that the best episode after the, depi the, depar the departure of Michael Scott is the episode which features a cameo by Michael Scott. It's kind of funny. I also like how... I think there's some people who take criticism to the fact that it just gives the characters their happy endings rather than just ending it off on an ambiguous note like a regular documentary. I've seen a few people share that criticism with the finale, but it's still fun. It's still got several funny jokes and good plot resolutions, and plus, uh, Jim's best prank on Dwight. And the fantastic return of Steve Carell. Alright, number five is Christmas Party. It was really hard only picking one Christmas special. And I'll be honest, if I had 11 spots for this video... Moroccan Christmas, or the Benihana Christmas, or Classy Christmas, I would have put more Christmas specials on the list. And who knows, maybe one day, if there's enough of a demand from you guys, maybe I'll rank the Christmas specials. But the original one is the one that makes the list. 
but it was really close for me not to swap out a couple other ones. But Christmas Party, fantastic episode. It's a classic of the show. It is just a fun episode and easily one of the best episodes of the show. And, I mean, it's got a great gag with the, the really stinking funny iPod. Which leads to maybe the greatest Secret Santa ever put to TV. It's really good. But ultimately, four episodes I thought were just slightly better. So number four is Goodbye Michael. Now, Goodbye Michael is about as perfect as you can get for a final episode for Steve Crow. I love this episode. And honestly, the only reason is that it's not higher has nothing to do with the episode itself. It's the fact the series continues on after this episode. Most people, I, I agree with most people that this should have been the finale. And if this was the finale, honestly, you would easily be in the top three. It's just the fact the show continues and it's not that great once Crow leaves that the episode goes down. That That's why the episode isn't in the top three. But it's very good, and it's it's really close between this one and the third place. It's ultimately just because uh, I like the jokes in three more and the fact that this wasn't the final episode of the series. But number three is Threat Level Midnight. I love this episode. It was This is a fun episode right here. The best late season episode of The Office we see the grand premiere of Michael Scott's movie, and it is awesome. And fun fact, they actually released a full-length edition up on YouTube. So, if you want to watch it after watching this video, you can. But the episode itself is really funny and features one of Steve Carell's best performances in the role. And... Watching the reactions of the characters to the movie, even though they're playing the characters, is really good. And so, yeah, it's it's an easy one for me. And I'll be honest here, really, any day, really any of the top three could change. But this is how it is right now. Who knows? Day after tomorrow, it could be all shuffled around in a different way. But the runner-up is safety training. The... Of course, everyone remembers the rooftop scene. I'm not going to get into that in case you haven't seen it. You know why I talked about the finale and some spoilers? Yeah. Basically, this episode is just full of humor. I love this episode. It's so much fun. It's funny. You've got this betting plot going on. And also the return of Andy. And, yeah, it's just a really fun episode. And uh, Michael's attempt at a safety training seminar, which puts his his life in danger, is it's an interesting concept. And it is, I think the the performances really carry the episode. It's really fun, but ultimately the injury is my number one. I love the injury. This is such a great episode. Basically, Michael Scott burns his foot on a George Foreman grill. And Dwight gets a concussion by hitting a telephone pole on the way to go pick him up. And that kickstarts everything. The episode delivers solid joke after solid... No, not solid. Great joke after great joke. This episode makes me laugh... Every time I watch, if I ever just say, you know, I don't want to watch a random episode of The Office, the injury is always the one I go to. It's really kind of difficult to describe, but it's just the episode that I laugh the most at, that I, that just brings the most smiles to my face, and it's the episode that if I don't know which episode I want to watch, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to put on the injury. It's just a fun episode. And easily my favorite episode of the show right now. Like I said, really any of the top three could change. But for this second, right now, The Injury is my number one favorite episode of The Office. So there you have it. What's your favorite episode of The Office? 
If you want to check out other some other content I did, then you can. If you also want to like and subscribe, you can do that as well. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.